Hi, Stuart Richland here from 420 Law Office and here on the YouTube channel. Well, time is certainly ticking. We've got, you know, maybe 15, 20 days till the effective date uh, of the new Los Angeles ordinance. It looks like it's uh, inevitable that uh, your collective is going to be shut down uh, by the city if you don't take some action. Now, uh, our office is already in the drafting stage and we will continue with the existing five clients that we uh, were successful in obtaining a partial preliminary injunction for about two years ago, as well as some new collectives that are joining the case. If you would like to join the case and get your name on, God willing, a temporary restraining order, which will enjoin the city from enforcing a terribly thought-out ban and a truly cruel ban because of the people who need medical marijuana and who need it now, uh, then give me a call ASAP because it takes a while to develop your papers and you'll want to have a consultation and think about it. So please call me as soon as possible to make that appointment. You can reach me at 888-420-LAW-1. Um, we are going to include your declaration. We want some declarations from your patients. We want to use an expert witness declaration. We will prepare, of course, the points and authorities and the notice and uh, the uh, lawsuit which must be a verified complaint, uh, etc. We'll ask the court to take judicial notice of various information items that we've organized. You know, one of the issues, of course, is that each of the different strains of cannabis has a different ratio of THC, uh, cannabidiol, etc., and people need different ratios of these different cannabinoids at different stages in their lives, depending on uh, their disease or whether the uh, condition needs to be uh, refreshed. Cannabis medicine is unique in that it has many different varieties, but of course if one person is alone or a small group of three or less in a collective, they really cannot provide their medicine with the same type of effectiveness to have strains available for each of the patients and so that they can rotate through strains as needed. For instance, sativas are stimulating, indicas are more restful, so a patient who's on cannabis may need a couple different strains or more. Uh, add to that the fact that most patients don't know how to grow medical marijuana and uh, there's a fire risk when you try to have lights in your house with marijuana. There may be kids around. Your landlord may not agree with the growing of marijuana. Uh, you may not have land. Uh, so there are many different reasons why someone may not be able physically even to have the uh, facility to be able to grow. and. Uh, so this new law presumes that everyone is able to grow marijuana for themselves if they're sick. Of course, that's not so. And what about the very seriously ill, the qualified patients in this state, uh, many of whom have cancer, arthritis, AIDS, HIV? Are they supposed to start digging dirt to grow their own marijuana? And what if they don't have friends or family who will co-locate with them to help them grow? This new ban is going to send people to the black market. That's the exact opposite if we want that that funds crime. <clears throat> those folks don't pay taxes. Those folks are not regulated in any way. And those folks not only have marijuana, they also offer coke and heroin and pills and other stuff. So we don't want unlicensed black market dealers taking over the marijuana for medicine issue. We want to keep that in the dispensaries. And when you read the new case of Los Angeles County versus Alternative, it's very clear that when the California legislature passed 11362.768, they joined the word dispensary into the lexicon of uh, allowable uses. And dispensaries must be 600 feet away from schools. That's reasonable. And even mobile dispensaries must be 600 feet away from schools. Uh, and of course, there's a bigger analysis than that if you include federal law. Uh, by the way, uh, you need to call me right away, even if you don't want to join this lawsuit, to get my consultation on medical marijuana law so you can know federal, state, and local law. Of course, federal law still holds that it is a felony to grow, sell, or distribute marijuana. Well, thank you very much for touching base, and uh, talk to you soon. Uh, while we're visiting, let me point out that I offer a $500 one-on-one -on -one consultation in which I go through federal, state, and local law on medical marijuana with reference to the various defenses, including the collective co-op defense, the individual defense and the caregiver defense here in the state of California. Uh, we go through tax issues, corporate issues, licensing, permits, and lots of details that you need to know about. So give me a call and I'd be glad to book that for you.
like I like to say, I'll take the Pepsi challenge with any other lawyer with reference to my presentation of the topic. Qualified as an expert to testify with reference to the defense, and it will be my honor to uh, get you that information. ASAP. Hey, what's going on? Have you heard about our radio show? That's right, there's a medical marijuana radio show, and I do it for you every Thursday night at 8.30. In fact, the podcast is available ahead of time every week, and uh, you can get it at 420lawoffice.com. Just click 420 Radio Show, and you can download the podcast, and you can subscribe by clicking a button, and it's going to show up in your phone uh, or in your iPod. So be sure to check out 420 Law Office Radio. I think you'll find it's rocking. All right, take good care.